Here's another proportionality question. So they tell us that AB to BC is seven parts to two. So we can make seven, we can make AB seven X and BC can be two X. And remember you can use any letter you like, but you must use a letter because it's, they're not telling us that the length is seven and two, they're telling us the ratio is seven and two. The question says prove that AE over AD is equal to AG over AF. But first, let's identify triangles. So remember, in this part of the question, we are going to look for triangles that have parallel lines, but the lower parallel line must be the base of the triangle. So the first one that I can see is this one. So keep that one in mind for just now. And then there's another triangle over here. So those are the only two triangles that we are going to be able to use. Now what we always suggest is that you go straight to the question. So in a question like this where they want you to prove this, just start with the first one. Trust me, it works every time. So just go find AE over AD. Now which triangle would that be? Well, AE is there and AD is there. So it's clearly this triangle. And so let's just go find AE over AD. Well, that's going to be the same as AE if you look to the other side of the triangle, that's going to be the length, that's going to be AC. And AD if you look at that, that's going to be AB. Can you see it? Because opposite AD is AB and opposite the whole of AE, well that's AC. And the reason for that is prop theorem. Why? Because the lines BD is parallel to EC. Okay, so we've got that. Now what you do when I, the question I guess is you look at this part and you go find that. So AC over AB well, that is in this triangle, but we've just used that triangle, so we need something new. But luckily, AC and AB is also in this triangle, and so we'll use that one. So we can say that AC over AB is going to be the same as, well, AC is the entire length, and so we'll have to use the entire length on the other side, so that's going to be AG over... AB is from from there to there, so that's going to be the same as A to F. A, F, and that's going to be prop theorem, and that's now because BF is parallel to CG. So now we have to look, look carefully what we have just done. We started off by saying that AE over AD is the same as AC over AB. Then we said that AC over AB is the same as AG over AF. So if this is the same as this one, but that same one is the same as this one, then that means that these two are the same. So we've actually finished the whole question. We can therefore say that AE over AD is going to be equal to AG over AF.